Health care debate rages on across the country. People in Warren are marching for reform. Healthy Living reporter Susan Campbell takes us to the rally that's part of a statewide event to promote changes in the health care system. Healthcare now! Healthcare the message now. is loud and clear. Healthcare! Now! This group wants health care reform, and you heard them, they want it now. Even if you're not for a public option, or you're not for what's in Congress right now, something needs to be done for health care. Literally taking their message to the street, churchgoers, labor union members, and community leaders marched along Market Street this afternoon from Trumbull Memorial Hospital to Congressman Tim Ryan's office in downtown Warren. People, not profit! Hattie Wilkins is one of the marchers, and like so many in our area, the former steelworker is struggling with medical bills. I recently lost my job after 35 years of service, and by because I have a pre-existing condition, the only health care I could get was what the company offered. That means she does have health care, but she pays dearly for it in the form of a monthly COBRA bill. And even that's not a permanent solution. I get $884 a month on unemployment. My house note is $450. My COBRA payment is $275. So what does that leave me to live on? For other marchers, it's about the bottom line. We actually are paying more year after year, and we're getting less uh, you know, results. So we have to change that because if we don't change, uh, it's going to bankrupt the country. The group knows it's a lofty goal, but they say they'll keep fighting for reform until everybody has access to affordable health care. We're going to make some things happen here in the United States. And even if it's starting with Youngstown and Warren, we're going to make things happen. And along the route, already a small sign of success as the group was met with honking horns in support of their message. And Cindy, of course, there are still plenty of opponents that say any sort of sweeping health care reform will actually cost way too much money and could even make it more difficult for people to get access to good coverage. So this debate is going to continue, and we'll keep covering it as it does. It'll be interesting.